Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer. Let's cut to the chase. In this video, I'm going to sell me this pen. That's right. I'm going to sell you this pen using Langchain. This is a practical use case, so please keep watching. We are going to create a sales agent with context that will have real-time insights into customer needs and preferences and therefore enable it to tailor its sales pitch and close deals effectively. This is the flowchart. In step one, we seed the agent. In step two, the sales agent generates messages and append the messages to the chat history, if any. Step three, we collect the response of the human input and append the message to the chat history. In stage four, we analyze in which state of conversations we are in. Are we just introducing ourselves or are we closing the deal? And then we adjust the agent's prompt based on the stage of the conversation that we are in. Essentially, the stages of conversation will be programmed into the agent and it will have a sense of its overall holistic target at each point of conversation with the user. Now, this is not like a general chatbot, for example, ChatGPT, but a goal-driven agent with its sole purpose to make sales. For example, in the first stage of its conversation with the user, it will start the conversation by introducing itself and the company to which it belongs. While in the central part of the conversation, the agent will focus on value proposition, solution presentation, etc. And in the end, will try to close the deal. So this agent is a typical sales agent and the only difference as compared to the to a real human being is that it can work for 24 hours. This is going to be fun. So let's get started with the code. So here I am at VS Code Editor. And with this piece of code, we are setting an environment variable in Python within the OS module. An environment variable is a value that is set in the operating system's environment and can be accessed by any program running on that system. Here, we are setting the OpenAI API key environment variable to a value that represents our API key. For obtaining the API key, head over to platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys. Head over to API key, create new secret key, create secret key, copy the key, and paste it in our code. Next up, we install these host of required libraries, including typing, langchain, pedantic, and time. Then we create two number of classes. The first class, the stage analyzer chain class, is a subclass of the LLM chain class that analyzes which conversation stage should the conversation move into based on the conversation history. The class method from LLM returns an instance of the LLM chain class. Here we have the template of the prompt and with one input being the conversation history. Next we construct the prompt template using the template created and conversation history as input variable. This class returns a number from 1 to 7 based on the stage of the conversations and these are the stages seven stages of conversation that the agent can be the next class is sales conversion chain class is designed to generate the next utterance for the sales conversation this class is also a subset of llm chain which means it inherits all the attributes and methods of the llm chain class it has one class method called from llm that returns an instance of the LLM chain class. The from LLM method takes two arguments, LLM and verbose, and returns an instance of the LLM chain class. The sales conversion chain class uh, uses a template, a prompt template, called the sales agent inception prompt, which contains information about the salesperson, the company, the purpose of this conversation, and the means of contacting the prospect, etc. The prompt template also includes instructions for the salesperson to keep their responses short and to respond according to the previous conversation history and the stage on the conversation. The prompt template includes holder for the current conversation stage and the conversation history, which are filled in at runtime using the input variables parameter of the prompt template class. Next up, we load up our chat open AI instance 
and store it in this variable LLM. Then we create another class, which is our main sales GPT brain. This code defines a sales GPT class that serves as a controller model for the sales agent. In summary, this class contains various properties and methods to simulate a conversation between a salesperson and a prospect. The class uses GPT architecture to generate responses from the sales agent based on the conversation uh, stage and context. The conversation proceeds through different stages, starting with an introduction and ending with a call to action. This class includes uh, methods for handling human input and generating AI responses. The sales GPT class can be initialized with a base LLM and used to simulate a conversation between a salesperson and a prospect. These are the conversation stages that the chatbot can be running in. So I'm gonna, just going to read through this. So the first stage is introduction. Start the conversation by introducing yourself uh, and your company. Be polite and respectful while keeping the tone of the conversation professional. Your greeting should be welcoming. Always clarify in your greeting the reason why you are contacting the person. Stage two, qualification. Qualify the prospect by confirming if they are the right person to talk to regarding your product or service. Ensure that they have the authority to make purchasing decisions. Step three, value proposition. Briefly explain how your product and service could benefit the prospect. Focus on the unique selling point and value proposition of your product or service that sets apart from the competitors. Needs analysis. Ask open-ended questions to uncover the prospect's needs and pain points. Listen carefully to their response and take notes. Solution presentation. Based on the prospect's needs, present your product or service as the solution that can address their pain points. Objection handling. Address any objection that the prospect may have regarding your product or services. Be prepared to provide evidence or testimonials to support your claims. Step 7 and the final step. Ask for the sale by proposing a next step. This could be a demo, a trial or a meeting with decision makers. Ensure to summarize what has been discussed and reiterate the benefits. This config file is defined as a dictionary with key value pairs of salesperson name, salesperson role, company name, company business, company values, conversation purpose, conversation history initially it is set to none or nothing, conversation type, conversation stage. Then we are going to load up our sales GPT class and in the sales agent variable, we are going to seed the agent. Then we are going to run an infinite loop. The first stage will determine the conversation stage where the agent is in one to seven. The next stage will be the output or the reply by the sales agent. Then we wait for the human input and continue again with conversion and output generation. So this loops keeps on going forever. The code is finished now. Let's see it in action. Let's run this. We are going to open up a new terminal. Let's minimize this. We are going to write Python sales underscore pen dot by so the first conversation stage is the introduction because we have just started the conversation so the ai agent it has this in at the back of the mind that it is in the introduction stage now the message the output that it gives to the user is that hello this is julia goldsmith from golden pens i hope you're doing well I'm reaching out to you if you might be interested in purchasing one of our premium plated gold plated pens. I reply with yes, of course. So the next, it moved on to the next uh, conversation stage, which is value proposition, which is briefly explain how your product service can benefit the prospect. Focus on the unique selling points and value proposition of your products that sets it apart from other competitors. Now Julia says, great. Our pens are not only stylish, but they are also designed to be long-lasting, making them perfect for professionals who want to make a lasting impression. With a golden pen, you'll be able to write smoothly and comfortably without having to worry about the pen running out of ink. Would you like to hear more about our different pen options? I would love to. Let's move on. So the next conversation stage is the solution presentation. Based on the prospect's needs, present your product or service as the solution that can address their pain points. Now, Julia Goldsmith says, excellent. We offer a range of different pen styles from classic 
ball point pens to elegant fountain pens. Our pens are all made with high quality material and are designed to be more to be both functional and beautiful. Do you have a specific type of pen in mind that you're interested in? I would love a fountain pen which is heavy and smooth maybe. So this is the next state. The conversation stage is solution presentation. It is based on the prospect's needs. Present your product service as the solution that can address the pain points. Julia says, great choice. Our fountain pens are definitely a favorite among our customers. One of our most popular option is the gold standard fountain pen, which is handcraft, which is handcrafted with solid gold platings and has a weighted feel for a luxury writing experience. Would you like to, would you like me to send you more information about this pen? So in this way, we moved on to the solution presentation. So let us continue. Yes, please. Next stage is the same solution presentation. Wonderful. I will send you an email with all the information you need about the gold standard fountain pen. You'll be able to see photos of the pen and learn more about these features and benefits. If you have any further questions or would like to place an order, please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. Thank you for considering golden pens for your next luxury writing experience. Thanks. So it seems I was a very easy customer because it just went through three steps, four steps, introduction, value proposition, solution presentation, and close. So it closed the deal and I am really happy. Let me make it a little bit challenging for the agent. Are the pens any good? What is your uh, company's you know, status in terms, what is your company's rating? Objection handling. So it moved on to a new state, which is the objection handling. Our customers absolutely love our pens and have given us great reviews. In fact, we have a 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. We take great pride uh, in the quality of our products and are committed to providing a top-notch writing experience for all of our customers. Would you like me to send you some reviews and testimonials from our happy customers? Yes, sure. I love that. Based on the prospects, present your products. Okay, fantastic. I will send you an email with some of the best customer reviews and testimonials so that you can see for yourself why our pens are so highly rewarded. Let me know if there's anything else I can assist you with. Oh, thanks. The code will be available in the GitHub page. Link is in the description. As always, like, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification to never miss an update. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.